everyone so today I've done another odd purchase and it's just received I won't say too much just yet although I probably have it written in the uh, title of the video but I'm gonna unbox it I haven't done anything yet and I haven't had a look um, it's see what kind of condition it's a second-hand item so otherwise we'll just see how it looks so we just undo this. Right. I'm expecting this item to be pretty dirty and it will be just a, a ice that's just something I'm gonna give a bit of a clean up, goof around with. I'm not gonna like use it seriously, but I remember having one of these uh, or we had one at my primary school when I was a kid and I always thought it was quite cool so I saw one come up for sale and thought well that'd be quite fun just to muck around with so I do understand this needs a little bit of repair but oh repair and clean but generally it should be alright probably a little bit scratched it's something that I believe is from the 60s Some of you may have already guessed what it is if you had not looked at the title of the video. Oh, I just can sort of wrap it around a bit. Wrap it around, turn it around. Alright, so this is a auto harp. It was all stuck to it. Right. A bit of that box, so we've got some light. So, what was that that's broken off? I wonder where that came from. Focus. I'll put it aside. I'm sure whatever it is, it's going to need to be repaired anyway. So, yeah, Auto Harp. It's a Japanese made one. Um. I actually call it a, what's that, chroma harp. So, get out of focus again. Uh, really dirty. So, pretty much you can press these to get student notes. And it has the key, uh, the notes down here too. So you would hold these down and play it. Uh, as I say, I remember having one of these at primary school and thinking it was quite neat. Um, never learnt to play it. I don't intend on learning to play this, but I will get it fixed up, tuned, and when I've got friends or family coming over, like I know a lot of family like playing music, so we will be giving it a bit of a go. So let's have a nice close look. So up here we've got all the uh, notes, it's Japanese made, I looked up this um, brand and they still make guitars to today, but I don't think they do these auto harps anymore. Um, so these have a bit of felt that hold down the notes. This would probably be for a strap. These are kind of designed that you play them on the table or you can hold them. You sort of like hold them up like this against yourself and, and then play from uh, like this. But I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not too worried about doing that. I'll probably just play with it on the table. Um, so, having just a good look at it. Like someone must have used I'd say this is probably came from a school. Because I I don't I've never heard of anyone who's actually specialises in playing this. One of these. Uh, so repair wise we are missing a string here or two. Uh looks like we could be missing 
and this one here, and maybe one here. Yes. What? Well, you might be missing three. Because when you look here, you've got two there and one there that's missing. So. Oh, yeah. I can't really play it, well, use it with both hands since I'm holding the camera, but this seems quite, um, quite interesting already. I'll just get that to focus, that camera's getting a bit old. Um, let's see if there's any other damage, apart from the odd scratch. This is quite glossy uh, varnish that could probably be come up quite nice. Uh, what's this? Okay, there seems to be a crack just in there. Get it to focus again. A bit of a crack there and a crack there, but it doesn't look like. Ah. That can be glued. Like, I don't plan on making it perfect, but I just want to make it usable. that focus I don't know what's up with this camera uh, but these are all here that's good so I need to get a st string polish and get all this dust out of it figure out what that is so I reckon that would be this this open somehow ah here we go I've just learned something that opens there. That's where this cords came. Ah, uh, this, yeah, where this is strings came from. Came from one of these. Oh, here's the serial number. Wow, that's cool. I I really didn't know that. I, uh, you know, I would have thought, figured it out eventually. So, yeah, so that, so hard to know when this one was actually made. Um. But yeah, I think I'll be able to fix or re-glue, clean up some of these rusty screws, polish this up. I'll give it a bit of a once over and I'll come back to you on it. We'll, we'll see how it looks. These are they're metal. They could be aluminium. Um, Yeah, I'll have to see. I don't know if I'll go for a whole new set of um, strings or just replace. It, it, you know, it depends on how much it costs. No point spending hundreds of dollars if I'm only going to be using it for uh, playing around with and family members trying to get a song out of it. Um, I think it's really cool looking. And I think once it's cleaned up it's going to look really, really nice. Yeah, got to get in and clean one between these. That's gonna be fun. Right, I'll come back to you and we'll review after I've done a bit of a clean on it. If I discover anything else, I'll let you know. Okay, so here we are. I've given it a pretty heavy clean and got a lot of the dust out of underneath these strings without having to remove them. And uh, that was quite a mission. There was a lot of dirt up under where these were. So, but it was quite protected by dirt as well. So, um, but I've given it a good clean. It was a bit tricky to get the dirt out of these bits here. And even up up under these bits here and around but as you can see it's still quite glossy and with the strings do protect that area so um, so I'm pretty much just up to only having to put these back on um, and finding some replacement strings now I've had a word with a few people and these are a bit tricky to find very scarce instrument here in New Zealand 
um, and even around the world. I don't even know where quite to look, but it suggested just to keep looking online and even finding the tuning key or tool to do these can be quite tricky to find the correct one. So for now, the main is to get it looking clean and tidy. So it's going to last until I can locate some strings and um, get it tuned somehow or tune it myself. Maybe I can f figure out a tool that will work for this for ch quick tuning. Um, but yeah, as you can see, if I can try and catch some light in it, uh, it isn't too bad. Came up quite clean. We've got a serial number there. Uh, I saw another one somewhere else. Oh, up under here. There's a number as well. And then and down under here, there's that one there. But I don't think... They're not the same number, so... I don't know if that's just a serial number for each piece. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I was able to... Um, uh, clean all these up as well so they're looking pretty smart so they just need to be set back into here um, here's the top off this looks like it had a sponge under it but that's broken down over time and I don't think um, well I can't I'll have to have a think and see what I can use to replace that but for now I'm gonna put it back together but the sponge would be to dampen the sound of when you're pressing it, uh, pressing down on these bars here. They do make a bit of a clicky, or not a clicky, but a bit of a bang every time they return, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's quite, quite tidy. Uh, um, quite, quite nice. So I'm quite glad it is quite clean. Just getting up around under there. Really tricky to clean under these without removing them. And even just, in, uh, if you can see, there's still a bit, little bit of dust and dirt in those, but not much. Otherwise, it looks really good. So I'm going to continue to just put these back on, and um, yes, that's not a <laughs> yes. We'll carry on. Right, so I've just popped off the stop here, which is only held together by three screws. Um, just a flathead screwdriver you need, if I can get that to focus, just a small one. So, I've tried to keep these in order, even though I know I will have a photo of it, um, and how they sit. So, that just goes into there. that um, these top ends do have I guess it's where that little sponge for dampening the um, the sound has kind of broken apart and stuck to these a little bit this end you can probably see as well if I can get that to focus um, but yeah I could clean that completely off but what I might do is wait until I um, get a better um, a sponge to replace so or something just to dampen that sound let's just have a look here I can see I didn't realize this I did notice when I was cleaning but these have a hole in the ends I thought they were all at one end but I, I that's why I was just kind of confu confused there for a moment I was like oh hold on are they are they um, supposed to be like that but no all good let's grab another one and keep putting these in So this, these are a uh, little aluminium with uh, wood inside, and then with felt, and then your key. They were quite dirty. Uh, some of them have got a little bit of glue that's ran down the side when they were made. There you go. Um, but, 
you don't see that at all. And these ends are covered. Oh, get that in the right one there, that's in the right one. And that, right. That's right. Three screws in this. So there we go in there. So I'm going to need both hands to do that. So I will just pause for a moment. Be back with you in a second with these all on. All right, here we go. So it's all back together and clean. Um, I will have to follow up with getting a string for this um, and tuning it really. And at some stage, that little foam uh, sponge that runs under these, because you can hear, does make quite a noise. Um, but a lot more tidier now than when we started with. You can see how clean that, um, uh, with just a reflection of the television there, how clean that varnishes. There's the odd scratch on there, but you know, and, and I can't really do too much with these bits here. There's probably, I can probably clean them up somehow, but I'm not really too fussed about it. So yeah, it's quite fun. We've really been playing around with it. Got a little bit of a song out uh, of it and um, it wouldn't be too difficult to pick this up and be able to play it quite easily. Um, but yeah, you don't see them around. I just happened to, um, f uh, when I was asking around in my local music stores, um, the woman there also had one, exactly the same model, everything the same apart from it was a lot rougher. Uh, I think this bit was completely broken off and had been taped on. Um, and I think I was missing a few more strings, maybe quite a few. But, uh, definitely wasn't as nice condition as this one. So I kind of feel lucky I've been able to get that quite nice. Or, you know, get one that's in pretty well good condition. You know, you can't do much about these these bits here. And if I had it perfect, then I'd be stressing about looking after it all the time. Uh, but, yeah, you know, what do you do? So yeah, but yeah, I still seen seen people playing them online, so it gives a bit of an idea. Um, takes someone really good to get these to play and sound nice. Um, but yeah, if I do a future update on this, maybe when I get a uh, replacement strings, um, I doubt I'll be able to play it. I will continue to play around with it and try and learn it very basically um, but I do have friends who uh, are quite well at playing instruments and one's already had a go and yeah wasn't too bad really I was picking it up pretty quick which was nice um, but yeah I think for now that's that's all for this one um, just looks so much better now um, just took a lot of effort to get that dust out of there. I think that was really the main part that made it look good. But yeah, alright. Well anyway, thanks for watching.